This recipe details how to find some networks of interacting proteins that are differentially expressed in a control versus disease study using microarray expression data. We start in our genome space home directory. We have already logged in using your username and password. We begin by creating a subdirectory named diff subnetworks in our home directory. We then hit create. We now fetch the data we'll be using by going to public, shared data, demos, analysis recipe 1, and then selecting all the files and dragging and dropping to the subdirectory we just created. We now go to the subdirectory. And we select the GCT file, which is the gene pattern common expression format, and hit launch. We now want to select the genes that have at least a threefold expression variation. We do this by sending the GCT expression file to pre process dataset by selecting it from the drop down menu as so and hitting select. In pre process dataset, we set the minfold change to 3 and then hit run. This will produce a filtered GCT file containing the genes which pass the threshold. To discover differentially expressed genes, we now send this filtered expression dataset to comparative marker selection by clicking the arrow and hitting comparative marker selection. Here we also fill in the .cls parameter which defines what samples are control and what samples are disease, tumor in this case. We select the CLS file from our genome space tab from the subdirectory we created earlier, drag and drop to the .cls file. We then hit run. After this is done, we now can send the output to extract comparative markers results. This will allow us to fetch the differentially expressed results. This is done by hitting the arrow and sending to compared, extract comparative marker selection results. We now want to select the top 50 genes as defined by rank. We do this by first taking the filtered expression file from preprocessed dataset from job results and dragging and dropping and then selecting rank from statistic and setting the max to 50. This will give us the top 50 genes. We then hit run. This will produce a filtered expression file which we now need to select the gene names from. We do this by sending this file to select file matrix. In select file matrix, we set the following parameters. The first one is start row, setting it to 4, end row to 53, start column to 2, and end column to 2. We then hit run. This module will simply go through the GCT file and select the second column which contains the gene names of the differentially expressed genes. The gene names will be output in a simple text file, which we will then click and open within our browser to save the gene names of the expressed genes. We highlight all of them and then copy them for use in Cytoscape soon. Back in Genome Space, we hit the Cytoscape button in order to launch the Cytoscape application. If you have never used Cytoscape before, it will automatically download and install the application. In this case, I have used it before, so it will simply run. We now want to load an interaction network of the specific animal of interest. We do this by going to the plugin section, going to Gene Mania, and then hitting Search. 
In this case, I have already installed the Must Musculus dataset, but if you have not, you can simply install it by hitting Install Data. Now we choose the genes of interest by pasting the genes which we had previously found in Gene Pattern. Then hit OK. We now hit Start, and this will generate an interaction network of the genes using the genes of interest we have provided. As you can see here, there will be a bit of processing time, which will take a significant amount of computing resources. Just as a side note, you will want to close this window after you're done with it, or it will continue to use these resources. With the network done, you can see it loaded up here. We now want to find highly interconnected subnetworks by using the mcode plugin by going to plugins mcode and then start mcode we also want to make sure the haircut checkbox is checked we then hit analyze this will produce a results panel with all the highly interconnected networks in this case we pick number one so you can see it highlights it and extra d data and information is also shown in the genes and function tabs Thank you for watching this genome space analysis tutorial. There will be many more to come on our website at www.genomespace.org under our recipe section.